What's going on, everybody? Um, I just want to share, I know it's been a minute, but uh, I want to share a, uh, I guess, a brief testimony slash exercise that we did in service today. Um, the month of February was uh, stirring up the gifts. Nobody was speaking, bringing a word. It was all exercises of stirring up the gifts. And um, the first Sunday, it went, everything went as planned. Um, the next two Sundays, we actually couldn't have service because of uh, the place we were having service, uh, people were sick. So we couldn't have service where we all come together. And part in the phone ring, and of course it wants to ring right as I'm recording the video. But um, so today we did the exercise again. And basically what the exercise was, was the exercise in uh, prophecy. Uh, and we know in... Um, you know, Paul said, I would, that you all would prophesy. And we know in 1 Corinthians 14, 3, it says that prophecy is speaking unto men for edification, exhortation, and comfort. You know what I mean? Revelations talks about the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And we know that Jesus, he comforted, he exhorted, and he edified. All right, so basically the exercise was, um, the exercise was, everybody took a sheet of paper well actually first of all we all prayed we got ourselves got everything out of the way you know if, if somebody anybody needed to repent we put all that on the table um, just to make sure that everybody didn't have any sin in the way right and and I understand that that's not necessarily necessary but you know because if you're in a good mood you're in a bad mood God can still use you you know if you've messed up made a mistake whatever God can still use you but just to get it all out of the way. That way it's not, oh, well, maybe God didn't hear me today because I had this particular sin. No, we get all that clean. So we prayed about that. And then we took sheets of paper. Everybody had a sheet of paper. And this week we drew trees. I drew a tree. Everybody drew a tree. But we had to make sure the tree was a tree that we could understand that this tree is my tree. I know that the, the detail and design of that tree is my tree without a doubt. So we did that without people knowing, then we passed it around. You know, we randomized it and passed it around. Made sure we didn't get our own, or if we saw our neighbors, the one next to us, we didn't get their tree. And um, so we did that, and um, once we got them back, we sought the Lord again about the picture we got. Um, basically, Lord, what do you have to say to this person? How do you want to build this person, comfort this person, or exhort this person, Lord? Um, and then we just trusted in God and, and we um, put all our expectation in him. And quite a few of us in the congregation are filled with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues and everything. And several of the children are not, but they still partook in the exercise. You know what I mean? 16 down to uh, 13, 14, somewhere along the line. Maybe, yeah, 13, 14, maybe somewhere around there. And... Um, even even somebody who hadn't really had just started coming back to service was there as well and um god really moved in the service you know everybody got a word everybody got discernment everybody got uh an accurate word for the person and everybody was able to exhort edify or to um comfort someone you know a couple of the people once they heard what God had for them, they started crying because it just hit them so hard. You know what I mean? I just believe, and I've been teaching that it's important that we're able to be those mouthpieces for God, right? Be those oracles for God, as Scripture says, because sometimes we can feel like we're on our own. Sometimes we can feel like, you know, I know I trust God, I believe God, but sometimes you can feel like, you know, I, I, is he really, does he really see me? You know what I mean? Uh, wretched man that I am, is he thinking about me or is he, is he there for me? Sometimes we can feel that way. So it's important that we exercise like this and stir these gifts up. And God has allowed us to exercise it within the body so we can gain a certain level of being comfortable enough to now approach a random stranger. You know what I mean? Like, excuse me, do you got this, that, or that ever going on? They say yes, great. Well, God has boom, 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 boom. If not, then oh, psh, I missed the mark. Okay, psh, why you ask? 
I'm tripping. I missed the mark. I, I, I thought something. You know what I mean? God doesn't get that charge because we can, we can mess this thing up. So it's always important to practice to stir up the gifts. And another thing that um, I made sure that we all understood was Samson, Phil, he, he had the Spirit of God, right? He went out and he shook himself. <laughs> he stirred that spirit up, right? But when Delilah finally took his hair, he had not noticed that the Spirit of God was not with him anymore because he still went out. He shook himself like he still had it. And then he realized, oh, I, I'm by myself. What's going on? So it wasn't about necessarily feeling a feeling that where God was talking to us. Even though some people can feel and that's fine, but it's not always about having to feel. You know what I mean? It's just about knowing and trusting. And God worked with every single one. Those filled with the Holy Spirit, those who were not filled with the Holy Spirit. God had a message through them for everybody else. You know what I mean? And you say, well, how could God do that if they don't have the Holy Spirit, this, that, and the other? You know, we look at Saul. Saul wasn't a prophet, but when Saul went around the prophets, he got in the vicinity. He prophesied, you know, so um, I just wanted to share that. Maybe that's a, a, a training or an exercise that maybe you and some loved ones could try out, uh, whether it's in church, whether it's in a small group of friends that uh, just want to trust in God and grow in God. Because uh, we have to be those vessels fit for his use, you know what I mean? But if we're so stuck behind fear that we won't step out, like how will we ever grow? How will we ever know what God is capable of doing through us if we don't begin to, to move in these things, all right? Till next time, be blessed.